about five miles where the residents who live in National Housing Commission buildings or flats have been given an eviction notice. They've been asked to leave those premises within seven days. I think that's quite unfair. You know, here is a government institution, a government that is supposed to represent the people, a government that is supposed to be for the people, that is now kicking its own people out of these institutions. Now it claims that it's doing that so that it can rebuild or it can it can look at developing those properties, but what we've seen recently is that National Housing Commission properties are being handed over to foreign entities for development. I'm worried about this. We look at the Waigani Hostel, for instance, where a large number of Papua New Guineans who were living there were evicted. They took a court order out. That court order was ignored. There are now foreign contractors working on the property. And it appears that if this is the case, then you have to wonder what, what is the government doing to protect its people, you know? These are public servants that have lived there for a long time. There's uh, you know, persons who are also not public servants, but they're Papua New Guineans and they work here. Cost of accommodation is very high, and if they're evicted, they'll be forced to live in settlements, really. That's the only option they have, because they can't afford to live anywhere else. Now, I, I feel that, you know, unless there is an alternative, if you're going to kick people out of their homes, what is the alternative? Where are you going to place them? What have you done to consider that situation? Now these people believe that this government represents them and their interests, and therefore this government should be looking at means and ways to take care of the people, the very people that it claims it's representing. And in this instance, the National Housing Commission is behaving in a very hostile and unfriendly manner towards its own people. And I appeal to the minister and the CEO to, to refrain from doing this, you know, unless you have suggestions and options where you can move these people, temporary accommodation and so forth, you know, or if you're going to just kick them out, then at least compensate them in some way. You've got to, you know, pay them for the accommodation costs that will be incurred by these people when they move. Where will they go? What will they do? You know, they have children. They're working. You know, they, they pay rent. Where are they going to go? How can you just throw them out onto the street? I mean, it's very unfair. And it's, if this is the way that it's going to happen, you know, it's quite frightening. We see substantial amounts of land and property that belong to the people, but take it away from them, seize and pilfer, and hand it over to you know dubious foreign interests. And uh, if this is what's happening in our country, then who's protecting and promoting Papua New Guinean interests? I, I have to ask.